Hi, welcome back to Outdoor Gear and Skills. I hope everyone had a, a Merry Christmas, uh, happy and safe holidays. Uh, I came out to Utah to spend Christmas with my parents. I uh, haven't been back to Utah for Christmas for a few years. I uh, also got to spend time uh, with my oldest daughter and her family. So I uh, traveled here with my outdoor products Wayfarer backpack. Um, this has kind of been my, my go-to recently. I've, I've traveled with three different backpacks this year, and by far this is the one that I like the best. It's been a great pack uh, for me, but I'm having a little bit of an issue with it, and that is on the inside of the main flap, I have a, a little pocket right here, and I just keep my uh, portable charger in there uh, and everything, and that's, that's great. It just kind of keeps it in there and protected but this is ripping out and I don't like that one bit. So I'm going to sew it up right now with uh, dental floss so that it just stays uh, nice and tight. And I'm going to, uh, you know, just come through the mesh above the rip. And then I'm going to come in between this section right here where there's a double stitch. Yeah, you can't really see it that well right there, but there's a double stitch. I'm gonna go in between that so that it, it gives something uh, to bite onto and it stays away from the zipper. So I'm gonna try and do this uh, while I'm talking here and uh, show you guys uh, what I'm doing. I put, uh, when I went to go tie the knot in the dental floss, I looped it several times, uh, I think four times and pulled it out. So I got a pretty big knot there and I'm using way more dental floss than I need lengthwise. I'm probably might have enough to go double on that, but I just want to make sure that it's, uh, I've got more than I need so I don't get stuck. So, um, I am not, uh, the best at sewing, but I'm really good at Frankenstein sewing, but I'm going to put my reading glasses on so I can see. So I am just going to start, uh, back here. Now this side right here is, starting to come out a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and sew that anyway to try to keep it from coming out in the future. So I'm gonna pull back here. I don't need to go all the way, but I'm going to go right about there and show you where I, I came in right there. And then I'm going to come up here and grab it through the mesh get that out of the way pull it through and try to keep that tight and just do loops over and over so I wasn't sure how uh, difficult it would be to push through this strip right here but it is actually quite easy it's uh, it's not as difficult at all I thought maybe I would need a thimble uh, to push through and so for those of you that are not old enough to know what a thimble is. It uh, allows you to, you put it on your finger and it allows you to push uh, your needle through when there's uh, heavy material uh, where you can't get that through. So uh, doing good. I'm just gonna grab up a little bit higher on this one because it is uh, starting to come through. I'm into the section now where it has uh, started to uh, rip out. So I'm just trying to pull that tight there and uh, keep it tight. It is going to bunch this up a little bit, but it's not going to um, affect uh, the function or anything on this. It is still going to uh, zip properly. Uh, and everything so I don't really need to worry about that and I started using dental floss for sewing up backpacks when I was in Italy in 1990 so I've been doing this for a long time with dental floss and it just is so strong and it doesn't ever pull out it's just you know, it's it's not the most aesthetically pleasing uh, because you do see the white Frankenstein on it. But this one's internal, so I really just don't care 
about that at all. I just want it to function. And like I said, this backpack has been fantastic for me. I, I've been really happy with it. And the price was reasonable. I paid, I think, $38 on Amazon. And it was just very reasonable. I love having the side pockets for uh, putting stuff in there, uh, loose items that I, you know, may need to get into, like eye drops or um, lotion or things like that, that uh, I want to be able to get into it easily and uh, I have an, an Under Armour bag that I use also when I'm not traveling uh, but it doesn't have any side pockets and so I'm constantly uh, I've got like a bag a little uh, bag of tricks like Felix the cat if anyone knows what that is but I have to dump out the whole little bag just to find my stuff and I don't really care for that so I like having these side pockets and one of them is uh, a zip where I keep all, all that. The other one's like a, a little, um, almost like a little cooler uh, that's insulated. And so that uh, is very helpful. I, I don't really use it as an insulator. I put a notepad, I put my pens in there, uh, I put uh, Altoids in there. And so we're getting pretty close to being done here. But like I said, I've really, uh, I've really loved this backpack. But the fact that this mesh is ripping does not make me happy. So uh, when I get this finished up here in just a minute, I will be happy again. So when you're sewing something like this, you want to make sure that you've got uh, a good anchor point for it. And that's why I'm going in between. And I'll show you this a little bit, but you can kind of see that. I'm going in between the stitch that is above the zipper and um, yeah it is above the zipper and there's a, a double stitch just like train tracks and I'm going in between that because that will not pull through the material so you want to have a good anchor point so that it doesn't rip through and I am catching on this part that I showed you right here that was really ripped out, I'm going a little bit higher than I did on this side just to make sure that this doesn't pull back through. And now I'm actually in a, a spot where it's got triple stitching. So that will be even more helpful uh, to keep me lined up. But when it comes to something like this, uh, overkill, in my opinion is the name of the game um, so that's why I use the dental floss that's why I use so much of it and this will never come out I will be dead before this dental floss comes out of this backpack so I went a little bit high on that one so I kind of pulled that back out so I can get it off so I'm almost done right here but this this is not a um, a situation where I would dump this backpack get rid of it uh, because of this mesh pulling out but it is um, an annoyance and so I want it to work you know I want to have my stuff in there without uh, getting ripped up and ripping that even more so this should Ooh, just poked myself. That was awesome. All right, didn't go deep, so I didn't really hurt it. It's not going to bleed, but I'm getting close here. So I'll probably get this wrong, uh, but the pioneers, when they were coming across the plains in the 1800s, and they were settling out west here um, in Utah, you know, times were very lean. They were very difficult, uh, harsh winters, things like that. Uh, but they could not afford to always get new things. And they had a saying that was somewhere along the lines of, um, 
uh, man, I'll, I'm totally going to butcher this now, so I apologize, but it's somewhere along the lines of, um, you know, just fix things. You got to mend them. Um, Say that again. My wife's in the background. She's telling me what this is. Fix it up, make it do. Fix it up, make it do. Wear it out or do without. Wear it out or do without. So, and so instead of just being a, a disposable society, they couldn't afford to do that. And I, I probably butchered that, but the mentality of using what you have um, you know, keeping, um, you know, caring for it, caring for your stuff, keeping it well. I don't, uh, I don't throw, uh, my stuff around. I don't leave my tools out, uh, in the rain. I never leave my, um, mountain bike, you know, just sitting out in the yard. Uh, it's, it's, it's too expensive. It's too valuable you know, for me to do that, but, um, I just don't, I don't treat my things like that. So now I've gotten to the end here. Um, as you can see where, um, I've gotten that sewn all the way across. So I have it locked in there. Now what I'm going to do is come through, um, one of my stitches to then give me more room and leverage to tie it off just trying to tie it off uh, as I came back up through under here, just trying to tie it off is going to be very difficult to put uh, a knot all the way down against the fabric. And then it's just going to tend to pull out. So I'm going to come under one of my stitches and then I'm going to tie a big fat knot. So this thing doesn't come out. All right. So I'm just coming under the stitch, trying not to grab the, stitch of the material okay so I'm gonna have to pop it out just a bit there almost had it there we go okay so as I do that I'm coming through here I have a loop I'm going to go through this loop several times and I'm gonna wrap it I I think Surgeons do this on knots where they'll go through and they wrap multiple times, you know, when they're doing stitches, uh, that kind of thing. So I'm going to come through here and kind of keep that open because I've got the, the two pieces here as I try to keep this under control. So that's two, three, four, five, Six. Let's just go seven, just because, um, because I'm weird like that. All right. And then I'm going to pull on this. Now what I'm going to do is separate my dental floss and I'm going to try and pull on those because I do have a little bit of a knot right there where it didn't pull all the way closed but as I tug on it with both sides it's not coming out so that should hold very nicely so because I always have a knife with me I'm gonna cut that off right there all right now I got the stuck under there so you can see that's about how much I had left. So I did overkill. I knew that that was going to be the case, but I wanted to keep, uh, I wanted to make sure I had enough uh, to go across. So here is what it looks like now. Uh, ugly as sin, but it's, it's holding that, you know, very tightly there. If this rips out again, you know, it could tear above this, um, then I might do that again. But now that is going to keep everything. And as you can see, it zips in and out, no problem, right in there. So that took me roughly, 
you know, about 12, 13 minutes to get that done. So I would love to hear how um, you guys do, do anything. Do you have issues like that? Do you find that there's a different material than dental floss that you used to do stuff? Or do you use thread or do you just toss it out? What do you do? I'd love to hear it. As always, thank you for watching Outdoor Gear and Skills, and we'll see you out there.